Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Josh here with the Income Replacement Project. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about how to analyze online arbitrage deals. I've been getting some messages come through um, on the email asking me how I'm analyzing my online arbitrage deals because there is a process that you know you should be going through process of due diligence just to check everything is in order, everything is as it's supposed to be and as it should be for um, a good and a quick flip if you're buying something from another online store in order to resell it back on Amazon. Now there are two ways to do um, online arbitrage deal analysis. You can do it the, the old fashioned way, the, the manual way where you go and you look at all these data points manually or you can use a tool to help you to automate that process and make it quick and easy. Um, I don't do as much online arbitrage as perhaps I'd like to. I, I tend to do more retail arbitrage, but when I do online arbitrage, I like to you know get through things quickly. And time is of the essence. Um, and I like to be able. I love tools. Tools make things so much easier for for us doing what we do. So if there is a tool that I can use to help cut my time down and make the process quicker, um, then that, that enables me to find more deals, which way outweighs the cost of any tool that I might be using. And the tool that I use for online deal analysis is Buybot Pro. Um, there's a link below this video uh, where you can try, buy, try Buybot Pro, Pro out for yourself. Um, disclaimer, I do earn a, a small commission for that, so think of it as buying me a cup of coffee if you, um, <laughs> if you do click on that link. But anyway, I want to talk to you about how to use Buybot Pro and why you know how how I use it to analyze my online arbitrage deals before I make a purchase so I've got up on the screen here um, a plush toy that I found recently I can buy these for five pound um, so I wanted to show you how Bybot Pro works based on entering a cost and then we're going to have a look at all the data that it supplies us and how how we can read that data to make an informed buying decision so you'll see Bybot Pro appears on our screen overlaying the original Amazon product page. Um, it's a monthly subscription program so uh, when you have, you'll see here, you can, um, well you not, might not be able to see this, but I have the Buybot Pro extension activated on, on um, my screen here. So it's overlaying the Amazon website and you've got this tall skyscraper bar on the far right hand side which is the, the main section and you can enter your price in here. So I'm just going to type 5 and this, uh, this, this works in France, Germany, Italy, Spain, UK, the US at the moment as far as I'm aware. And as you can see, I entered the price. It's automatically taken the buy box price of $14.95 as the sell price. I can change that if I wanted to. So if I wanted to, if I, if I thought that um, the buy box price was too high for, you know, if I wanted to base my purchase decision on a lower price because I didn't know if I was going to be able to secure the buy box price then I change that and what have you otherwise I just leave it the same and then you can see these tick boxes here we if you're using FBA you don't just worry about any of those and then just hit, hit the analyze button or press enter on your keyboard the return button and it will do the search for you so let's talk through these data points that we find here so ASIN it gives us the ASIN of the product which is handy in case we want to grab that if we hover over we can see some statistics about it um, so you can see what category the product's in, you can see the weight in grams and pounds, the dimensions in centimeters and inches, and whether Amazon has been on the on the listing as a seller themselves within the last 90 days. For those of you who don't, I know there are some people out there who don't buy when Amazon on the, is on the listing, this is a quick and easy way to find out whether Amazon has, has historically been on the listing. So that's super handy. And whether or not Amazon has the buy box. Then you see here the BSR predictor. So this is the best seller rank or sales rank, whatever you call it, predictor. It's going to sort of determine where the sales rank might be in the near future. And it's predicting it's going to have a 1% sales rank in the future. And it currently has a 1% sales rank right now. And the sales rank exactly at this moment in time is 33,251. So you'll see here eligible if um, you are eligible to sell the, the product or not, or the brand, the category, or whatever, it's, whatever it is, it tells you yes or no. If you're not, there is a button. There will be a button that appears here that says uh, says auto ungate question mark, and you click the button, and uh, Buybot Pro will try and auto ungate you for um, that particular brand. If you're not too sure about what um, what auto ungating is, 
Um, I'll put a link in the video in the below this video where I talk about auto ungating and how to do it and all that kind of stuff and you know what it is. So you can watch that at a later date. Then next we've got the IP radar. The IP radar, let's see what Vibot's Pro's um, description of it is, so I make sure I get the right the exactly correct. The IP radar basically looks to see if uh, Bybot Pro has in their database information on whether certain brands are prone for uh, intellectual property violation claims from those brands, whether the brand protects their trademarks actively and they, they complain to Amazon about their trademarks being used against their will and you know misused as they call it. So anyway, if you get a red dot here, this is a product that you don't want to buy. So this, you know, for this for the subscription fee that Bybot Pro charges, this is worth every penny because if you're going to buy a red pro uh, product with a red light, that means your account is at risk of uh, suspension if you actively try and sell that product. So we're looking for green lights. If it's orange, it means that you might want to do a bit more due diligence. It could be that the um, that Bybot Pro detects that it could be a private label product where the seller, the, the sorry, that the where the list of sellers has the brand's name in it, which can often determine whether or not it's a private label seller. And if it is, they'll come after you for, you know, being on their listing. Then the next point is, is it the product hazmat? In this case, no, it's not. Uh, whether or not it's oversized, because oversized, obviously, for those of you that don't know, is when products are larger and they're not, they can't be handled at your regular fulfillment center. They have to go to a specific fulfillment center. And being oversized, they're bigger, they're heavier, they cost more to handle, and so they charge more for that. Um, so a lot of people like to avoid oversized, so it tells you here wh whether or not that's likely to be the case. Then you've got the buy box analysis. So as you can see, it says the feature will help you to see at a glance whether Amazon share the buy box. So we already know from um, this up here that Amazon hasn't been on the listing in the last 90 days. So buy box pros pulling the, you know, unable to draw a formal conclusion from this. Uh, but based on that data up there, I'd be happy to know that Amazon is sharing the buy box because um, they're not on it themselves. Then we've got here suggested purchase quantity. Now this isn't set because I haven't set it up in my, you can change the settings here. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second and that will populate that if and when I want it to. Then we've got profit margin, 29.7% profit. And it's going to tell me what I, if I were to sell it at £9.54, I'd be breaking even on my cost if that makes sense. So if I were Pro show me how far I could go, how far the price, how low the price could go before I would be losing any money. And it shows me my total cost here. If I hover over it, I can see the Amazon fees, fulfillment fees, referral fees, and all that. It's all added up. So this deal gives me a return on investment of 88.8%, .8%, which is awesome. Um, and my net profit is £4.44. pence. Now, if we hover over this at the bottom, and Bybot Pro has an algorithm that gives a score out of 100%, and you can see here that um, it's giving it a good, uh, with the green light, 64.4%, and it breaks down how the score was calculated uh, in a nutshell, and it's saying that the price, the sell price is unstable, that's what's pulling the score down from 100, and that's because you can see here on this chart, the price is going as 11, 12, 15, 14, 16, then it goes right up to 22, so Bible Pro is a bit spooked by the, the, the variation in price, which I'm not I'm not worried about that. I quite like a fluctuation in price because if, if a price comes up and it goes down, it goes up and it goes down, it means that it's going to go up at some point and uh, I've got a good chance of being able to sell it when it's up. So And then it says recent 30-day estimated sales have been good and the recent 90-day estimate sales have also been good. So that's really, really, really good news. Now, as we move down the skyscraper bar here, we've got some more very useful data. So, Amazon, it's uh, Bybot Pro is working out a um, rough idea of how many sales per month this product might be making. So, we hover over the 17, we can see, let me just scroll back up. We can see um, estimated sales per month of this product. And this is done, worked out based on the sales rank um, of the product during those, those months. So you can see December is the most popular month for this product, which is you know makes sense. It's a toy, and toys sell better in December. Um, but you can see how it changes. So it's estimating uh, average monthly sales of 17, um, predicted 90-day average sales of 66, and previous 
average sales of 56 over the last 90 days. So what does this, you know, this is all very well and good, but how does it help you? Well, if you're thinking how much, how many should I buy, you've got an opportunity to say buy unlimited amounts and you don't want to have loads of stock sitting on the shelf gathering dust, you'd know that if you wanted to turn around within 90 days, that you should be ordering roughly 66 of them. So it's super, super useful to help you went, help you work out how many you know you should be buying. Next, we have competition analysis. So what Buybot Pro has gone and done is looked at all of the current sellers that are on this listing, and you can see all of their price points. And if you hover over the um, what we've got the stock level here, it tells you they've got four left in stock. This FBA Prime seller, if it's green, they are FBA and using Prime. That, that is, uh, and you can see the seller name is well stuffed. You can see their review count and their feedback if they have any. So they've got four here, then this one's got one, this one's got one, this one's got 13, then two, then four. So this is Merchant Fulfilled Seller. So well stuffed, they are FBA and Merchant Fulfilled. They have an offer for each on this particular listing. And then you'll see total top 10 sellers have 29 in stock. So again, another useful metric there. And there are eight prime sellers in total with one merchant fulfilled. So if you're looking for something, if you're if you're the type of seller who likes to go for products that have low competition in terms of FBA sellers, this is another useful uh, metric for you. Now, as we move further down, we've got the sales rank of the product in the varying uh, marketplaces that are hooked up to the UK. So UK, if you've got a pro account and you've expanded your offers internationally, your offers will also be showing in these various different countries. So it can be interesting to see how the ranks differ in these different countries. So they're round about the same in all countries except for Italy. For whatever reason, Italy just doesn't like Care Bears. <laughs> 157,000 sales rank, which is considerably higher than all these other 20s and 30s. So once again, really, really useful data. The VA toolbox, we're not going to talk about that in any detail here because it's not something that... Um, that you guys are likely to be using when you're first getting started. And Profit Protector, um, this is another subscription service from the same people who run Buybot Pro. Now let's, if we scroll back up, I said I'd take a look at the settings with you. So if we hit this cog here, we can go into the settings and add any extra fees or anything that we might have. Um, so let's take a look here. So we've got prep fee. If we have any other pre preparation fees that we want to enter by default, like bagging, if we buy stuff that's regularly bagged or bubble wrapped, and we wanna, if, we, if we know that we have an average prep fee of, say, 10 pence, we can build that into the cost. Google Sheets ID um, is when, if you have the, if you operate in the VA toolbox, you, you can have VAs working for you, and they can copy and paste a deal straight to a sheet. Stock capital here, add your overall budget here and I will use that to help you decide how many products to buy. Don't worry, I will never suggest you spend more than 10% of your budget on any one deal. So this helps you to spread your bets. Now this is something I like because um, lots of people when they first come onto my training and stuff like that, they're like, they find a deal, fall in love with that deal and they want to spend all their money on that one deal. But the best thing I've found to do over the seven years that I've been selling on Amazon is to spread your bets. You, want, you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket because if uh, another seller comes on and undercuts you considerably and you've got all your money tied up in one piece of stock that could be sitting there for nine, uh, like three months waiting for the price to go back up, um, this is why it's wise to be able to have this. So entering this, if you're on a sourcing session, uh, will help you to you know, be careful on how much stock you put into what. And then again, you can uh, set your max buy count. So if you say, I don't want to buy any more than 10 of one product, and Buybot, and Buybot Pro is working off a proportion of your budget, these two combined will help Buybot Pro to come up with some sort of idea on giving you a recommendation on how many to buy. Next, you've got shipping cost. So if you have a standard shipping cost for your products, so to ship, this is the, the cost to ship a box from you to the fulfillment center. So it costs me between three and five pounds for a 15 kilo box, so I could enter here um, what it would be like 33 pence, uh, 33 pence per kilo. If I wanted to build that cost into my, um, my my the, the calculations on Buybot Pro, I don't worry about that myself because it can vary so much and it doesn't really help me too much here. We've got Show Buybot Pro Island, which is a little box that pops up here. I just found it got in the way, so I, I don't have that. You can to toggle the VA toolbox on or off if you don't want to have it, and you can toggle the graphs off if you'd rather not see those. And the other thing that you can do is um, Buybot Pro, Buybot Pro um, supports both non-VAT and VAT registered sellers. So if you are 
If you're non-VAT registered, then you're going to have VAT charged on top of your fees. So you're going to want to select non-VAT registered. If you are VAT registered, you're going to want to select that. Basically, BuyBot Pro is going to accommodate the profit margins for you. Now, you can also set custom criteria on things, or whether, whether you want BuyBot Pro to reject or to tell you to buy a deal based on whether you know how much profit you want, what sales rank you like to buy in, and what, uh, what your ma minimum, maximum, or oh, sorry, there's no maximum return on investment, is there? <laughs> and what's your minimum return on investment? So if you don't buy a deal with anything less than 20% ROI, then you just set it like that and it will just spit it right back out. Okay, so that's the settings. So if we come back over to uh, the section here and take a quick look at the graphs, a lot of this information is provided by Keeper, uh, Keeper.com, which is the Amazon uh, third-party tool that scrapes data from Amazon and records sales rank history, pricing history, and all that kind of good stuff. And we can see here we've got a variety of different information all in one chart. We've got the FBA price, the Amazon price, uh, Amazon's price, new price, best seller rank or sales rank, and the buy box. So we can toggle any of these on or off. So if we just wanted to see, for example, Amazon's price, which they're not on, so that's no point showing you that. Let's have a look at FBA price. We can just see the FBA price without all the other things on the chart. And each one of these we'll find out more information on by clicking uh, by hovering over the question mark. So it's handy to see those. I don't don't generally look at these too much. Um, I generally tend to just use this, but if you're just getting started out, it's it's really, really good to, you know, kind of get an idea of what's going on by looking at these charts. Studying charts is not a bad thing to do. Uh, you can toggle on, I always just turned that off because again, it was all, just attracted my eye too much. Um, but you've got new offer count, it will show you how many new offers, what over what period of time, and uh, FPA price average, this is super, super helpful. So if you're you know struggling for what, what you should be pricing your offer at, then you know going for an average is always a good place to start. Um, new price average, buy box price average, new offer count over time, uh, the base uh, sales rank over time average, super super useful information tables with all of that in. That um, so, as you can see, guys, at a glance, you're going to get all the information you possibly need to make an informed buying decision when you're analysing your online deals. I highly recommend you take a look at 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 the BuyBot Pro. Uh, Chrome extension. Again, there is a link below this video. Click the link and you'll go over to the BuyBot Pro website where you can sign up right now. There is no trial or anything like that. Um, you can you just sign straight up. But I have to say it's the it's one of the tools that I have consistently paid for. Um, and I, I, you know, a lot of the other tools I'll kind of have them for a little while, then I won't use them, so I'll cancel them and I'll go back to them. But this is one tool that I consistently use because it is consistently useful. Every single day that I'm online arbitrage sourcing, um, I will use BuyBot Pro and it saves me so much time. So I highly recommend that guys. So I hope you found this video useful, that quick walkthrough of how to use BuyBot Pro and how to use it to analyze online arbitrage deals. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or anything in the comment section below. Otherwise, drop a like on this video just to let me know you like it and if, uh, if you want to see more of this kind of content in the future. Otherwise, guys, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.